find the moment of inertia of a uniform rod if the axis is passing through one of its end and the moment of inertia of a rectangular plate where the axis is passing through one of the vertices. So the mass and length of the rod is given and sides and mass of the rectangle is also given. So let's do the rod first. So this is a uniform rod. So let's take a small element dx at a distance x. And let's calculate the moment of inertia due to the element at O. And then we can integrate to find the total moment of inertia of the rod at O. I mean about O. So about O, di is equal to dmx square. So dm can be written as dx upon total length into mass times x square. So we integrate that and we get the result ml square by 3. Now we need to calculate the moment of inertia of the rectangular plate. So we are going to use this result which we just derived for the uniform rod. And we can find the moment of inertia of this plate about this axis. So about this axis, the length of the equivalent rod is B. So moment of inertia about this axis IY is equal to MB square by 3 from here. And if we take the uh, the axis of rotation to be this, then the uniform rod's length is A about this axis. So moment of inertia about this axis is Ix is equal to ma square by 3. So now by perpendicular axis theorem, I about O is equal to Ix plus Iy, which is m by 3 into a square plus b square, our answer. All right.